Good Wednesday morning. I pray that you're having a great day. Just wanted to take a moment to share a quick word with you out of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, starting in verse 9. It says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all, more, all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, insults, hardships, and persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Whenever I read this passage, the first thing that comes to my mind is there's a lot of things that I don't want to go through in life. I don't like the insults. I don't like the hardships. I don't like... Um, having to admit that I'm weak or even face uh, persecution or sometimes ridicule. These are things that I would much rather run from. But God says that if we abide in Him, if we live in His power and He will allow Him to work through us, even our weakest moments can become a strength. What does that look like for you today? Uh, maybe today you're going through life and you just don't feel like you're enough. Or maybe uh, there's just some circumstances that have gotten you down. Even in those moments when we feel like we can't survive or maybe we feel like it's time to give up, God would say, turn to me, look to me, and I will be your hope. I will be your strength. He says, come to me uh, and rest. Come to me and find hope. Take my burden upon you because it's light and I'll lift you up. In the moments that we face uh, the hardest times of life, in the moments that we uh, struggle maybe to survive, in the moments where we feel uh, like we're not enough, the greatest thing that we can do is say, okay, I'm not enough, but God is more than enough. That's my prayer for you today, that you'll see that in every circumstance you face, God is more than enough. God bless you, and we'll see you guys soon.